What's going on YouTube? I was back with another video for you guys and today I'm bringing you a little sad story uh, about my personal life. Not a, a lot of people know this about me. Not a, you know, I don't think any of the guys in the house even know the story. Uh, so freshman year of high school, I met this kid named Jamar. Uh, we became really, you know, close friends. He loved what I loved. I love boxing, Call of Duty. He loved boxing, Call of Duty. I love UFC. That's what, you know, best friends really come down to. You guys are, have a lot of things that are the same, um, similarities. And uh, so, sorry guys, when I shoot, I like always stop talking. So, um, I say it was the summer, around the summer, uh, two years ago. Um, you know, I went to my grandfather's house for a whole month, and, uh, he lives in Nevada, uh, about two, five hours away from Las Vegas. Uh, it's a little ride, uh, just to give you guys a little glimpse of where he's at. Um, and I had a, like I said, I had a friend named Jamar. I met him freshman year. He literally became one of my best friends. You know, we'd walk home from school every day. We actually had cats together, so we'd bullshit the period before, have like two free periods, you know. This dude was literally the, one of the most funniest kids I ever met, you know. This dude literally fought a security guard one time, and I'll save that for another video or something, but he literally fought a security guard in the middle of the street at the high school, which was freaking hilarious. Everyone at the school was talking about it for months, but uh, he actually became an amateur boxer. Um, he was doing really well. I think he went 3-0 and um, in his first three amateur fights, so, you know, that's always a plus. And, like I said, guys, this guy was my best friend. You know, we'd bullshit, play Call of Duty at night, make fun of each other. Uh, just an overall good friend. Like, pretty much like the guys are at the house with me, you know, like how, how I act with the guys. And, um, so I go to my grandfather's house for a whole month, right? Um, and he hits me up. He's like, yo, bro, when you get back, you want to, you know, chill before I go to Georgia? Um, if you don't, if you don't chill, I'll probably just go to Georgia for, you know, a few weeks or whatever it is. Uh, this was the summer before we went back to school. So I hit him back up. I'm like, all right, homie. Um, if we don't see each other, I'll just see you at school or before the summer ends, you know, we'll, regardless, we'll see each other. And, um, he's like, alright, so he hits me up, I get back from Nevada, he hits me up like, yo, bro, um, you trying to chill? And I'm like, oh, I just got back, you know, I'm trying to see my mom, you know, I don't really want to hang out with all my friends, like, I want to see my mom too, I haven't seen her for a damn month and a half, you know, I'm a mama's boy. Uh, so I'm like, nah, bro, um, I can't chill, maybe I'll see you when I, you know, school starts or, you know, something. But I'll eventually see you. We're going to see each other. It's not like we're never going to see each other again. So I'm like, all right, bro, peace, peace. And uh, he hits me back up literally the day before he's about to leave to j go to Georgia. And he's like, yo, homie, are uh, you trying to chill? If not, I'm just going to go to Georgia for a few weeks. It's cool. Like I said, I I'm pretty sure I already, I'm sure you guys get that point already. So pretty much it's either we chill. If we, if we chill, he's not going to go to Georgia. If we don't chill, he's going to go to Georgia. So I'm like, yeah, can't chill. I'm going to spend some time with my mom. So he's like, all right. So he goes to Georgia. I hit him up, I'm like, yo, you know, we're still playing Xbox, he brought his Xbox to Georgia, so we still, we're still playing late night, COD, playing some pubs, you know, he thinks he's better than me, challenging me in a 1v1s, and this was the time where I, I was, this was, I think, around, NW3, maybe, uh, Black Ops 2 area, maybe, I'm not too sure, like, it was, it was, this was a while ago, guys, so, actually, it might have been NW2, shit, I don't know, but, so, I hit him up, I'm like, yo, let's get on play, you know, we've been playing, he's been there for about two days now, you know, we're, Brian and Cod still. Uh, so I text him one day, no response. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. You know, we we're always texting each other bullshit. He's always making fun of me. Uh, what friends do? I'm sure you guys got the, the memo already. And no response. So I'm like, damn. Hit him up the next day, no response. I'm like, all right. Maybe, you know, he's busy. He's at his family's house. You know, maybe he's a family guy. Well, we don't know. So literally, I go on Facebook. Like, this was when Facebook was still pretty popular. I go on Facebook like a few hours later and I see a picture of him laying on it like a hospital stretcher and I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, I start, you know, going down my timeline. I see everyone saying, rest in peace, Jamar, rest in peace, Jamar. And uh, I actually got the news later that day that he actually drowned in a murky pool. And this was one of my best friend guys. It was like, not going to lie, like at the time, it, I didn't know how to accept it. Like, because I dealt with death before in my family and all that stuff, uh, but I never dealt with a friend dying. And that was probably one of the, definitely one of the sad times of my, of my life. Uh, I felt probably like shit because I pretty much told them that I couldn't hang out. Maybe if I, you know, would have told them I could hang out, this would have never happened. So I, I always thought about that for the longest time. Maybe I was like insecure or something. I don't know. Just, you know, delusional kid mind I was pretty much having. And, um, yeah, guys, that, that's really it. Like, I literally seen a picture of his body on uh, a stretcher. Someone posted it on Facebook, a girl. And... It was pretty insane, man. Like, honestly, that was definitely, like, one of the crazier times. Because, like, I never dealt with something like that. Um, 
of course I felt like shit for the longest time, but it happens, you know, things happen, uh, you gotta either live with it or you don't, you can't, you know, hold stuff above your head forever, uh, but like I said, this was a while ago, it was a pretty long, I mean, I don't even know what to say, I, I didn't really know how to take it, cause it was just like, I could have definitely prevented it, but like I said guys, it always sucks when, you know, someone close to you unfortunately passes away. And this was a personal story, guys. I never really told this story. I don't, like I said, I don't think anyone in the house knows. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for it being, like, super fucking depressing or something. But, I don't know. Maybe I just wanted to share it with you guys. So let me know what you guys think of the video. Uh, like I said, thank you for the support. And I will see you guys later. Peace.